Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Colette and this is the weekly tarot card for week commencing Monday the 14th of January 2019 and it's the Princess of Cups. Beautiful card in Rorig. I love this blue colour. As my husband would tell you, I would have my whole house done in that kind of Hawaiian blue. Uh, I love blue. Um, anyway, Princess of Cups. She's got this sort of flying through the air, completely almost trusting uh, in her own confidence to fly. She's not fearing flying. Uh, the words on it are self-confidence. So Princess of Cups has the energy of the people associated with the card and it also has the energy of the card itself. As a representative of a person that we should be focused on in the week ahead, she represents water signs, Pisces, Scorpio and Cancer, and also youngish women or girl children. So if you have um, a child or a friend or a sister um, that is part of that then your focus should be on them in the week ahead they may, may need your help they may need you to bolster their confidence in some way because a lot of this card is about confidence and feeling um how you are in your own body and in your own structures in life um and if worked with she can be a very good card but if um it's negative then it can bring out all sorts of insecurities and emotional uh, sort of things to deal with. So keep an eye on your um, water sign, uh, younger women and children in the week ahead. As an energy, um, she is about finding that inner confidence to uh, fly, to accept that you're brilliant that you're exceptional and that you're amazing and to put that into some sort of practice now you'll think of oh here she goes but this is the card does that look like an unconfident person to you does that look like someone that is um sort of falling and in terror this is someone that's flying through the air um if you if you watch maybe a trapeze artist or a, um, I have a little niece that does uh, the, the ring dancing uh, I think that's what it's called and um, it's like gym gymnastics on a ring and I watch her and I think oh my god how can she do that and it's because she's practiced and she's put in the work to be able to be confident that she's not going to fall, that she's not going to um, be in a dire situation. And she's doing a teeny wee thing as well. And this big hoop, it's hoop uh, work. Um, and that to me epitomizes this card, even though she's not a water sign. Um, so if you can imagine um, having the confidence to either, you know, throw yourself off um, a cliff on a bungee jump or to do this hoop stuff or trapeze, that is the, the kind of push energy for this. It's not telling you to do it because most people don't have the confidence right away to do that. It's about preparing yourself to do that. It's about building the confidence to do that. And confidence only comes through um, work, to be honest. You don't wake up one day and go, oh, I'm fully confident, unless you're this fully evolved person. We all have our fears um, and this card is about facing them and allowing ourselves to trust. Um, what's the little saying? Is it all oh, the little birds that, Mama, what, what if I fly and fall? And it's like, you know, what if you fly? It's I didn't get that right. But you know what I'm talking about? We sometimes believe in failure rather than success. And this card allows us to build towards that self-belief and uh, because of that in Rorig it brings out the, the very much trust in herself and her, her own body, her own confidence, um, like maybe a baby bird that um, 
just throws itself over the edge so it can fly. It's all those energies. Okay, that's not the epitome of the card in a lot of other decks, but in Rorig it is to me, and uh, that's the way I read it. So in general, um, it's about building confidence. It's about starting to remember even who you were as a child. You know, I, I sometimes look at adults that maybe took an awful lot of risks when they were younger and, and had so much fun doing stuff and now they're, oh no, I couldn't do that or that's too childish for me or I used to do art but um, I'm an adult now so, you know, I don't paint or, you know, these things that were very uh, natural when we were younger, um, dancing, ice skating, you know, that sense even with a water, because it's a water card, swimming, all these things that as a child we maybe did naturally and didn't fear too much um, we, because we wanted to just do it. It wasn't that we wanted to succeed, it was that we wanted to do it, we wanted to experience it. That's that energy of the child doing something just for the sake of the experience to me is this card. So what does it mean in the general year, uh, year week ahead? Um, sorry if I'm a wee bit breathless just now. I'm, I'm just overcoming a cold. Um, it means that we'll all be feeling that wee bit of a, a push to do things that will give us confidence and will build up our stamina even. Now, that can be as simple as going to the gym. It can be as simple as... Um, doing things that maybe challenge us more uh, and being quite committed to it. Uh, and, and that's what's good about this card. There is a commitment to striving towards getting that feeling. We all can't just do things right away, you know. We, we have to build up um, the, the perseverance and even sometimes the knowledge of even how to begin a thing. Um, I don't know if I'm getting this over properly or not because there's one I, one side of this that is like so much fun like going to go ape and, and swinging through the trees and just enjoying the experience. Um, this card was relevant for me in my 30s when I decided to get medals for swimming, for distance swimming. Uh, because I wasn't just, you know, saying, well, I'm just going to swim and whatever. It was like, I'm going to swim and I, I want to have the confidence to be able to realise that I can swim for distance. So there there can be an energy of doing things just for the sheer hell and fun of it. But there can also be the background of having an aim that would be so much out of your own comfort zone, knowing you can't do it just now but taking all those little steps towards it and that is the essence of this week ahead trying to plan to be that person that brave person emotionally brave person that you want to be now the downside of this card is it can bring in um body image problems it can bring in a kind of narcissistic energy it can bring in a like say someone that won't go out to the shop without makeup on because they're scared someone will think they look ugly. It can bring in all those slightly, those negative feelings of lack of self-worth and lack of confidence. And if you're feeling that a wee bit this week, then use the card in a positive way to say, well, okay, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to go to the shop without makeup on, but I'm going to just put on some lippy. You know, it's like it's like compromising with yourself so that you build up to things that you're not quite ready for just now. Uh, and in January, we've all these self-help things like, you know, you know, go cold turkey with this, stop that right away, do this, do that. This card's certainly aiming for good things and it's aiming to be the best that you can be. But it's not about doing it all in one fell swoop. It's about um, taking the baby steps so that you grow in confidence until you're totally ready to do it. What does it mean for career? Well, basically it can mean, excuse me, it can mean that um, 
you need to invest more in your workplace or your work life to give you the confidence that you need and it can be in very practical ways like you maybe you need to invest in a new suit um that will make you feel brilliant it will make you feel like you you're killing it maybe it means that you if you work from home say you have to change your working environment so that it, it makes you work towards your dreams more um whether that's setting up a home office or whether that's rearranging your life a bit to allow the work to become um, something that you're aiming to be better and more confident at. This card can really be used in a way of practically and emotionally boosting your confidence in a slightly negative way. Um, if you don't do things like that, you can fall into a, I'm not good enough, I'll just do my basic and go home. That's the downside of this card in Rorik. Um, if we look at health, uh, again, she does look pretty amazing. Um, she's toned, she's fit. Um, I see this card about the need for more flexibility. Now, in a physical way, it's about, <coughs> excuse me, being more flexible in the body. So a lot of people will feel themselves driven to do uh, yoga, pilates, tai chi, uh, just sometimes even if we're a wee bit older stretches uh, in the morning and at night but we need to bring more flexibility to our bodies now also because it is a, a cups card and that can bring out an, an awful lot of the bubbling up emotions it can mean that we have to pamper ourselves or soothe ourselves um to keep our mental health good so it's like soothing the emotions uh that lead to mental health upsets you know if if you know that there's an anniversary of a bereavement or something coming around this week if you know there's an anniversary of a loss or something that happened in your life that makes you feel uh, very very emotional and then that emotion affects your mental health and puts you into a low this card is about bolstering yourself not ignoring the situation that would be wrong but doing little things to give yourself a more balanced emotional emotional life um, and sometimes that can be pampering and and treating yourself and looking after yourself so from a health point of view it is quite an important card but isn't really about one particular thing flexibility in body and flexibility in emotions and mind um, if we look at her in relationships, she pinpoints that uh, partnerships could be made with uh, water signs, uh, particularly younger females um, under 30ish. Um, and also it brings out relationships thriving on um, trying to be the best that you can be for the relationship, not just for yourself, being flexible in attitudes, making compromises because that's what the relationship means. Uh, it can be a very emotional card. It can lead to a lot of um, questioning in relationships, but you know that can be very good at this time of year. So use it in a good way and you'll find that your relationship can be stronger and men in your relationships will be started in the week ahead with water signs. Um, if we look at money, she's not really a monetary card, but again, there's that degree of being flexible enough with money to allow yourself the treats that would pamper you and make you feel more confident. And as I say, you might have a budget, but if you're going to work and your work clothes don't give you the energy or the look that would make you feel great, then... Um, it's just a case of saying, well, okay, I'll I'll go without some things and I'll get myself that suit or that, that thing that makes me feel better. Um, but she's not, she can be a quite an impulsive card and what you've got to watch is not like maybe buying too much in the sales or going on ASOS and not looking at what is building up. Um... So just be careful with money, but know that it's not that you can't spend money, but you have to spend it in a way that's going to not be 
frivolous. It has to be for a reason and that reason has to be about making you feel more confident and that could be investing in a class. Uh, it could be investing in a suit. It could be investing in really nice food uh, that will make you feel healthier. Um, there's so many things that money can be used for and sometimes we use it for drivel. Uh, but this is the week where you're allowed to use it to enhance you. And remember, spiritually, if uh, you want a wee re re excuse me, if you want a wee uh, change and, and you feel like a boost, yes, why not buy yourself that tarot deck that you would like? Why not buy that oracle deck? Why not get a cracking crystal? So spiritually, this card allows us to pamper ourselves as well. Nelly, you come up. Nelly's going to say hello for the first time this year. Hey Nelly. Hey Nelly. Look, look. Nelly, you a good girl? <laughs> She's been a good wee girl this time. Mm, haven't you? Say hello Nelly. Hello. <laughs> so Nelly is still here being an annoyance. She had a wee epileptic fit just at New Year as well. Uh, she has a wee bit of epilepsy and it was quite it was quite a bad one so um, and Benji's wee back wasn't well so between uh, as all we were a wee bit of uh, crocked but uh, so that's oh that's Nelly sneezing in the background because she's now got the cold as well uh, so what can I say I'm blathering again uh, enjoy the week ahead pamper yourself look after yourself and explore the things that will give you confidence um if you like the way i read the tarot my book tarot novice to pro in one book is out in all amazons it's been out for seven years now and it still ticks along which is nice and um if you like it, give it a wee review for me but apart from that have a lovely week ahead and many blessings bye now